Are you an INFP who wants to understand an INFJ more? Or maybe you're an INFJ who wants to understand your INFP friend better. Um, well, here in this video, I'm going to tell you more about the cognitive functions, about the different aspects of those personality types and how they can work together and how they can feud as well. What's up, Legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, where I help geeks, gamers, and creatives to live more fulfilling lives through personality type. INFPs and INFJs, uh, it's such an interesting combination Mwah. because it feels like they're the same in a lot of ways, but they're also completely different. All of the cognitive functions are different for INFPs and INFJs. But it, it feels like you're talking the same language sometimes. And then you you get to this point, you're like, we haven't been talking about the same thing at all. Like, how did how did that even happen? You know, where are we going with this conversation? I can talk from my personality type as an INFP. Um, and I will do my best to, uh, you know, make sense of the INFJ personality type for this video's sake. So I'll probably be switching uh, who I'm talking from, which perspective. So as an INFP, I personified all these different cognitive functions. You have the soul as your dominant function, introverted feeling, extroverted intuition is the explorer, uh, introverted sensing, your tertiary function is the guardian, and extroverted thinking, your inferior function is the commander. Okay, soul, explorer, guardian, commander. For INFJs, you have introverted intuition first, okay, that's the mystic. You have extroverted feeling second, that's the envoy, like an ambassador. Um, you have introverted thinking third, that's the adept, kind of like a scientist type character, the smart guy or girl on the team. And then last, you have extroverted sensing, which I call the adventurer. So all those are different. And when you flip them, like for the INFP, all those INFJ cognitive functions, those characters are in in the shadow. They're on the, the, the other team, right? And they have a lot of negative baggage for them. Same with the INFJ for the INFP. So right away, you get mismatches quite, quite often, right? And some internal like expectations of, well, that that way of acting in the world is not right, or it's not good. And that's not true, right? Every different character within us, every different part, every different personality type, every different person has their own values that they can bring to the world and their own, you know, the importance, their own import that they can bring to the world and ways of helping, right? And so well, you got to get past your own stuff first, you know, the INFP and the INFJ are both feeling types. They're both intuitive types. And they're both introverts. They just kind of go at it a different way. So the soul and the envoy, the soul, introverted feeling, dominant function, envoy, INFJ, uh, auxiliary function, they go at life differently. It's They're both there to, to support humanity to make decisions that are, you know, people focused and things like that. Um, but, but they, uh, the soul is going inward first and saying like, what makes, what makes this right for me? Like, who am I? What's my identity? Does this decision align with, with me? And, and then we can bring that into the world. And the envoy is like, well, let me, I need to be proactive and make sure that, you know, um, expectations are met and, you know, we're fitting our actions within the, the culture, the social hierarchy, the social, just the appropriate way of interacting, you know, following consensus, um, being cordial and things like that. Um, so those are instantly like kind of clashing depending on the interactions. And that can be quite difficult, right? So that's one big difference is, you know, when I make decisions and when my wife makes decisions, she's an ENFJ, same functions, just in a different order. We go at things in a different way, right? <laughs> and so that is one thing that pops up quite often is those kind of conversations of like, well, why would you do it this way? It doesn't really make sense. Who cares what other people think? You should care what other people think. <laughs> it's just back and forth. Um, also for the intuitive aspects, 
Okay, the INFJ leads with it. Your heroic part of yourself is the mystic. That's long range, foresight, rethinking, reframing, ways of looking at life, you know, bringing in metaphors and symbolism and uh, precognition and, you know, just internal delving into an idea with depth. Okay. I say just, but it's it's awesome. I'm such a fanboy of introverted intuition. Um, but also extroverted intuition as the INFP um, is the explorer. So this is take an idea and what comes up next and then take another idea and this one smash them together. Wow, what do we got now? Like there's, ooh, it's so exciting. Like let's just explore idea space. And <laughs> in a negative way, those those two can also be quite aggravating, right? Um, if, if people are not in the same level of health and, uh, the goal is not clear spoken and, you know, the objective is not aligned for everybody. Um, because like the INFP will want to explore more possibilities because that's exciting. It's, it's kind of energizing. INFJ would be the probability focused and the INFP is the possibility focused. So sometimes the INFP will try to help by giving more ideas. You know, it could be this, what if this happened? What if this happened? Um, and the INFJ is probably like, that's too much. Like, I don't, I don't like that space. What is going to happen? Or why are we thinking about it in this way? Maybe that's the issue at the start. And we just need to kind of go back to first principles in some way, right? Like think if, if our thinking and our idea is correct in the first place. So those are some other ways that INFPs and INFJs might kind of like misalign, you know, with the goals and with uh, their thoughts and ideas. One thing though, that having this relationship can bring is that well-roundedness because you are using different characters. You have different cognitive functions as strengths and as weaknesses. So the INFJ can help support the INFP by coaching them on, you know, how to, to be more proactive in social situations, how to, you know, actually give somebody a, a handshake, because <laughs> I, I like stay away from it. I have a weird awkwardness around handshakes and, and touching people and, you know, doing things that are expected. And so having an INFJ there, you can translate because you also are an intuitive and a feeler. You can translate it into a way that will more likely make sense for the INFP and use that as leverage. You know, and INFPs can do the same for INFJs by having them tap into what, what is internally important to them. You know, being the, the soul guide for the INFJ in some ways. Um, you know, questioning deeper and deeper. And that, you know, that will be intriguing for the INFJ because then they get to go into idea space internally with more depth on their identity too. And you guys can share, you know, mental models and ways of thinking about the world and different um, ideas for how to change the world, how to impact the world, how to shift your identity. There's so many cool things that you can explore because you're both in you know, the same questing zone, but you're just doing it in different ways. One little thing that you got to watch out for, though, is um, how big of a slice of intuition you're using with the other person. And, you know, reading social cues and stuff like that in the wrong way. Um, I know a lot of times you know, the FJs in my life will act will kind of like think that I'm feeling a certain way, but really it, it's not true. Um, maybe I had a strange inflection or something like that, that they picked up on as like a hot, hot tone, hot word or something like that. Um, and so you got to be careful with that. And I've done that a bunch as well with, uh, just misreading intentions. So be careful with that as you continue on in your relationship and let us know down below in the comments, what has been helpful for you with your relationship as well. Good luck. Have fun. Peace.